I was asked to share a letter from a church member of a member of our church family, Senator Gerald Long. Uh, he couldn't be here today. Uh, Gerald and Miss Rose had to be away in Baton Rouge, but I would like to read this letter uh, in his place today. Dear friends, Rose and I regret that we're in Baton Rouge today. We would very much like to be with you discussing this very important issue of being able to exercise traditional expressions of our faith in a lawful way, in a way which has been recognized and appreciated for many years. We join you in prayer over this very important matter. We all recognize the importance of being lawful citizens. No one is above the law. However, no one, including Christians, should be below the law. In other words, Christians have every right the law, of, the law allows to express our faith in a positive and respectful way inside the walls of public education. Our school board is comprised of members who I believe want the best for our students. However, they need to be people of courage and they must be willing to make the hard decisions, even when it conflicts with others in places of authority. I know our superintendent and respect the fact that he is a career educator. Mr. Skinner has served education well. And as a Christian, I respect those in places of authority and believe we should try to find common ground. So my challenge to you is to hold our school board members accountable and work with them to respect our traditional values. Remember, they are elected officials who also elect our superintendent. I wish to express appreciation to school board member Stephen Harris and others for their leadership on this issue. The law allows the expression of our traditional values, and yes, Christmas plays are protected if done in the scope of the law. We are grateful to those who have organized this gathering to seek the Lord. And again, we regret we cannot be with you with regard, Senator Gerald Long. 